would be remiss of me if I did not, as per usual, thank Almighty God for continuing to bless me with this opportunity, an opportunity that I get to count for my stewardship. And I wish as well to commend the, my colleague member from number four uh, for the wonderful job he continues to do in getting these accolades for St. Kitts and Nevis. And it leads me to the point, Mr. Speaker, that especially when he spoke about the many ships, he even lost count, four or five ships per day. But these ships need infrastructure. And you will recall, Mr. Speaker, that, that uh, in December, we dealt with the minutes a few moments ago, the minute spoke to the what we call the budget or the 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 sitting when we actually approved the appropriation 2018 bill of 2017, Mr. Speaker. And you can glean from those estimates, Mr. Speaker, that under Capital item 12, capital expenditure item 12. We approve monies for the expenditure on the rehabilitation of, of the old road bay and the upgrade of the island main road amongst other capital expenditure items. So the duty, my duty rather, sir, is to at least <clears throat> bring the parliament and by extension the country up to date as it relates to those approved projects. And Mr. Speaker, I'm happy to inform that the, the upgrade of the island main road on the capital expenditure item one to one three three four eight is continuing in earnest and really has gone off to uh, 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 has moved off on a good footing as we say colloquially the ministry with responsibility for that project and the department in itself the public works department as recommended by the consultants what we have done is to place this particular project or put this particular project into segments. And the first eight segments, Mr. Speaker, I'm happy to report that the, the tenders went out and the bidders uh, have been selected and there's a meeting tomorrow for the final negotiation with these bidders. The first segment, the first segment rather, is the 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 road from from camps uh, to challengers, and that would include the drainage and the sidewalks, uh, as well as the road work to from Connery to Keys, uh, with similar works to be done, as, as it relates to the the drainage and the sidewalks, and of course the widening of the roads as well. The, the sidewalks from camps down to the Ross School, the medical school, would also uh, be, be started. And so too, the, the, uh, the construction of drains in the area of the Ross University, uh, across by the adjacent to the OJ's gas station, and the, the sidewalks, as I said before, I think, from West Farm to Challengers. And these bidders will be negotiating tomorrow their final costs.
but these works are going to go forward once we receive the recommendation and seeking the final approval uh, from, from the ministry and by extension the cabinet. So Mr. Speaker, I can report that things are happening, as my colleague said, in St. Kitts and Nevis. But things are not just happening, Mr. Speaker. Things are happening. Something good is happening under Team Unity, Mr. Speaker. We continue to open doors, Mr. Speaker, creating opportunities through empowerment and service to our people. Because with these projects starting, people are going to find work. Only who is lazy won't find work. Plenty work, Mr. Speaker. And since we last met here, Mr. Speaker, I believe on behalf of the ministry, on behalf of the cabinet, and on my own behalf, we must thank the people of St. Kitts and Nevis, especially those, those commuters, those, those vehicle drive, drivers of vehicles, and the pedestrians, for, con for, for ad adapting so easily to the traffic management efforts we have made. Traffic lights. Everybody saying how they get into bars here so cool and easy. When the other side was saying other things. And what we are saying now, they are clamoring for the rest lights. <coughs> and we will have to find a way to light out, traffic light out the entire bar city here, Mr. Speaker. And modernize, modernize the country, continue to modernize the country. And that is the success happening under Team Unity. I don't know if they said they were going to put in lights too. Did they say that? Well, they opposed it this time. Oh, did it? Okay, they opposed that one. So, Mr. Speaker, we have continued to, to ensure, to make certain that our traffic management is good. Mr. Speaker, in terms of the old road bay, we have finalized the, the, the conceptual designs, and by next month, the tenders will be out as well for that particular project. And we are going to improve the road safety for those thousands of people who traverse that road, that network, every day. And I can't help but repeat it, Mr. Speaker. For 20 years, for 20 years, that hazard existed under former administration. And it, it hits me close home, because I know a young man from Newtown. I spoke to him just on Sunday. And he said to me, Patches, the rock is still there over the bay. And he wanted to move the rock and put it up there by the area by Kansi, Lady Mitchum. And I asked him, why you want to move the rock? He said that means a lot to him. And I said, asked him, why do you want to preserve the rock? He said, we have to preserve that rock, because I was in the car today, he said. I was in the car, and my brother gone. And I thank God I'm still here. And I'm saying, we as a team, Unity Administration, and as a ministry have decided we will leave a legacy whereby we improve the safety and security across all would be once and for all, Mr. Speaker. And we're doing it in three years, you know, and in style. All would be We'll have three lanes, I'm, I'm, I'm advised, going across Old Road Bay. Yes, we'll control the speed, and for those of you who like the speed, <laughs> we'll control that, because that's part of safety as well. But, Mr. Speaker... The traffic lights, though. Traffic lights start in bar station. <laughs> the minister from number five wants the lights, too, but that's for the other phase. I'm not from Old Road. Okay. You want lights in Old Road, <laughs> Mr. Speaker, they're clamming for lights in Old Road now. I'm happy. I'm happy it was a it was a it was a Himalayan task, Mr. Mr. Speaker, to get that 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 uh, that uh, I noticed the Minister of Finance is serious. 
Minister. I don't know why. No money there. Mr. Minister. But Mr. Speaker, we continue to ensure that the, 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 the transport sector in this country remains an important sector. Because, you see, Mr. Speaker, we were here last sitting, and there was a song and a dance about Scaspo, the Port Authority. A song and a dance, Mr. Speaker. And the agent just, just sent me this. A song and a dance because we brought to this parliament like a government of in the, uh, like a government acting in the sunshine, we brought to this parliament a simple bill, a simple bill to advance the country. Because, Mr. Speaker, the air and the supports are a critical link in the transport chain. How would you get from London to St. Kitts if there was not an airport or a seaport? How would you get your chicken? Because the member from number four don't, don't produce enough. So we have to import. The, the Minister of Agriculture don't do, produce enough pork. So we have to import it. You have to con control the price though, Mr. Member. Make it competitive. But the ports are important, Mr. Speaker. Very important. And we say, you've heard the minister before me, my colleague said, his figures move from 600,000 it is? 638,000. 638, and that's what year was that? 2000? 2014. 2014. When you, just before we fired him. From 600,000 to 1.5 million. Four ships he said per day. Where are you going to put them? We came to this parliament. Mr. Speaker, and we sought to amend the legislation, amend the legislation as a condition precedent to the financing of the peer. And we had a song and dance, Mr. Speaker. They're going to sell the peer. They're going to do this. They're going to do that. But the peer development, the nuclear peer development, Mr. Speaker, I said before, and I will say again, it would hit to the heart of the grassroots economy, the ordinary man, the taxi drivers, the hair braiders, and they always talk about primate. Primate vendors sound so sophisticated. The monkey vendors, right? But primate vendors, those people who sell in their little clothes on the street, we'll find a place for them, nice area for them, that they can do, uh, 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 sell their wares. Those in the market there, what you call it there, the, the, the market, the place there. I'm Posante. Amina Craft Market. You're getting slow, Minister. The Amina Craft Market. <laughs> we bringing people and the... the, the even the traffic flow down at Port Zante was done on a scientific basis. So when the thousands disembark or going to embark the ships, they will be, be, be guided in a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a format or a direction that they can pass through the Amina market with the ordinary people selling, making a living, Mr. Speaker. The barbecue vendor. This is what I talk, talk, I talk about when I say the grassroots economy, Mr. Speaker. And they come, came in here and said we were selling the pill. Uh, what nonsense. What ignorance. Because in fact, they came to this parliament in December 2014 and moved the resolution to guarantee 31 million US dollars and pay a company and give the pay over for 30 years. The, the
Port Authority would not own it for 30 years. And I want to thank the board of directors of, the, of SCASPO. And I see a member here, Terry Adams. We didn't wait. Or we, didn't, we did not impose anything on the board, you know. The cabinet waited on the board and the management. The first time it came, the whole cabinet agonized about the cost. And the cabinet said, we must solicit, we must seek an independent opinion. The AG looked at me, because he knew he wanted to pay bills since the year before. I went and asked my view, I said, I'm a part, I'm a strong proponent of collectivity. If that's what the cabinet agreed, I agree too. We sent it back to the board for another opinion. When it came back, when the independent opinion came back, Mr. Speaker, the cabinet decided we should do a value for money analysis, a PPP analysis. It went back out and it came back. And I heard somebody talking just last night about procurement, but other, another time for him, Mr. Speaker. That may be contentious. So I'll avoid that. But Mr. Speaker, I can report to the Parliament that all the conditions have now been met. The St. Christopher Evans Post Authority Amendment Act 2018 has been gazetted. Has been gazetted, Mr. Speaker. And I can inform the Honorable House and the nation that the loan has been approved, Mr. Speaker. And the loan signing ceremony will be held on Monday the 26th, Mr. Speaker. On Monday the 26th of this month, the loan, official loan signing ceremony for the construction of the second cruise spear will be signed on Monday the 26th at 4 p.m. And I invite the whole country, even everybody here in the gallery, to come and witness that historic moment. It's about people, Mr. Speaker, and we are moving forward. Mr. Speaker, let's try to do it. It's three years, you know. Three years we are here. Three years we couldn't get it done. The last time <coughs> was here. Which we talk about, he enjoyed to stop it, explain something. If you say don't give us, don't give him the money, don't disperse the money. That mean you want to stop it? But that's the past, Mr. Mr. Speaker, and we go, we're moving forward. So, Mr. Speaker, in closing, I just want to, to, uh, to, to say, Mr. Speaker, that the, the ministry is ensuring that public infrastructure and transport becomes as modern in this country as in any country in the world, Mr. Speaker. We are making a difference and things are much better under a team unity government. Mr. Speaker, may it please you. Stay up to date with news, programs and activities of the government with SKNIS. Like us on Facebook. Listen to us on SoundCloud. Follow us on Twitter. And watch our videos on YouTube. Connect with us today. SKNIS. St. Kitts and Nevis Information Service.